All, all right. <laughs> Mr. Strauss's chemistry corner is filmed before a live studio audience. No filming or reproduction can be used without the express written consent of Mr. Strauss. And no laugh track was ever used during this video. So electronegativity is the last trend. Um, it was not on the test because electronegativity is a trend that deals with compounds. Electronegativity is the ability of an atom to attract electrons to itself when in a bond. It's the ability to attract electrons to itself when in a bond. Are you a left hand writer or a right hand writer? I am both. Yeah, what are you dominating? I'm right hand. What do they say to write them? Why does it look different than usual? Because I'm writing on an overhead. It just still looks different. Okay. And you do your T. You do your T's. Sometimes I do write left handed on the whiteboard just to see if you guys are paying attention. We all know this. I wrote it. That's awesome. So, um, the trend is like so. As you go up towards the corner, electronegativity gets greater. So the trend is as you go to the corner, electronegativity gets greater. And the table of electronegativities, uh, Jordan, I photocopied from your book. I put it on Appendix O. <coughs> Here is a table of electronegativities. And as you can see, Caitlin, as you go towards the corner, electronegativities increase. Now, the way I want you to think of these is like uh, ratings for movies. Okay? <coughs> so, um, what makes a three star movie a three star movie, Delaney? Okay. Um, then what makes it a four-star movie? Quality is a little bit better. Quality is a little bit better. It's, it's um, kind of hard to pin down exact criteria, but we do know that four stars is better than three, three is better than two, and so on and so forth. So I want you to think of these numbers as just kind of like star a star rating system. Aluminum is 1.47. Sodium is 1.01. So what do we know? Aluminum is more attractive than sodium. Fluorine is a whopping 4.10. Very attractive, much more attractive than aluminum. Okay? Now there is actually a formula for calculating these numbers. But for our purposes, um, for uh, intro to chem, let's just kind of think of them as one stars, two stars, three stars, four stars. Okay? Here are the rules for Lewis dots for atoms. If I start going too fast, just tell me to slow down. I'm kind of cranked up. It's a good day today. Yeah, it is. By the way, did you guys take my advice and vote for uh, prom theme chemistry by candlelight? Not a chance. We couldn't vote for what? It was like months ago. You already picked the theme? Yeah. Did Chemistry by Candlelight win? No. It wasn't an option. What? It wasn't even in the running? It wasn't an option. What kind of problem is this? It's close, but it's not like I mean, think about it. You could have helium balloons, neon lights, argon gas. I mean, it would be a lot of fun. People could have came as gold. You got a gold and silver theme. It was disgusting. 
Yeah. yeah, well, there's always next year. All right, anyhow, rules for Lewis dots and atoms. Um, we're going to represent electrons as dots. And this was developed by Dr. Lewis from Columbia University, I believe. Um, and what we do is we, let's say, let's take, um, let's take nitrogen. The electron configuration for nitrogen is 1s2, 2s2, 2p3. We put the s electrons on the left side and the p electrons on the remaining three sides. Okay. So we are only worried about valence electrons. So in other words, we're only going to look at these guys. We're not going to look at the 1s at all. <coughs> How many s's do we have? Two. So we put two dots. How many p's do we have? Three. three. And these three sides correspond to the three p orbitals, the px, the py, and the pz. So I put one there, one there, and one there. Yep. So, you know those diagrams where they have the two in the middle, and then the eight, and then the eight, so they show like all the different ones? Are yep. those? We don't mm, use those? No. You're thinking of like rings, right? The rings around. No, that's just showing where the, the um, energy levels and where the electrons are. This is only concerned with the valence. So let's do one more. Let's do chlorine. Chlorine is neon 3s2, 3p5. So we have two electrons there, and then one, two, three, four, five. This the starts from the bottom. Um, you put your S's here, and then you go counterclockwise. You have five P's, one, two, three, four, five. <coughs> No, no, I was just showing you where they where they were. I think I'm gonna